And right to our top story now. Housing prices jumped more than 10% nationwide in the last year. That's according to Zillow. And Waco is seeing the effects of rising housing prices leading to shortages. Six News reporter Matt Lively tells us what the city is doing about it. Three pillars of preservation were laid out in front of the Waco City Council on Monday in a special hearing which looked to tackle housing affordability and shortage in the city. I think that it's a really good time in Waco to really tackle this issue that I know that a lot of Wacoans are concerned about and that's rising housing costs and looking at the policies that we can implement as a community to make sure that we're all working together on the same team to make Waco a place where everyone has good housing opportunity. An outside consulting firm presented a study for Mayor Dylan Meek and city officials which broke down where housing is falling short in Waco. Issues included rising prices, a lack of affordable housing, homelessness, and the need for an expanded community services department. Yeah, I think in Waco right now we know that um, we have two issues that kind of rise to the top when we're talking about concerns that citizens are facing. One is workforce challenges and the second is uh, housing. The three pillars presented were financial stability, housing affordability, and housing stock. Sean Lee, who works at the heart of Texas region in housing programs, wants to make sure everyone is looked after. A lot of times these low income units that are in these new developments uh, aren't available to homeless individuals. Uh, the developers uh, take low income individuals through uh, separate means that don't necessarily reflect uh, the exact needs of our community. The study said that the population of people in Waco making 30% or less of median income is nearly 8,000 households, but there are just about 2,200 units available. Lee isn't shocked, saying the program he runs specifically helps these kinds of households. I was not at all surprised. Unfortunately, we run into that all the time. It takes two dedicated case managers, two full-time jobs just to be able to help uh, low-income individuals, individuals fight housing. Recommendations from the consulting group were given to the city to consider as they move forward. In Waco, Matt Lively, 6 News. And just to put it to bed, the study by census and surveying shows in the year 2019, 11% of housing in Waco was made up of vacation homes, short-term rentals, and other temporary housing.